And in it, he tells you why a falling apple is the same as the moon. The, the moon. He illustrates in a diagram the formation of an orbit. And for me, it's the most brilliant scientific illustration there ever was. Mm. Here's how he does it. He draws Earth. Mm -hmm. At the top, is, he puts a little mountain. Okay. Okay? So now you have like a cannon or some thing that can send a projectile. It's a projectile. And you spew it out, and it lands at some distance from the cannon. Mm -hmm. And you give it a little more motion, and it goes a little farther, and even farther, and even farther. And so he's reasoning that if I keep shooting this faster and faster, this cannonball is gonna come all the way around the Earth, and there must be a speed where it comes all around, and then I duck, and it keeps going and sustains the path. That would be orbital speed for this cannonball. Mm. And if you hit that speed, you don't have to maintain it. Right. It's just moving. There's nothing to slow it down. Oh, this is air friction. Of Do it above the air. Right. There's nothing to slow it down. And by the way, the cannonball is always falling. It's always falling towards Earth. It's not hitting Earth. How come? Because uh, gravity is acting on it to keep it just circling Earth. Earth happens to be round. Right. Okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> okay. I said circling, but yes, but, yeah, it's round. Yeah, Earth happens to be round. Yes. So as you fall towards Earth, you're going downrange so fast, so far, that every foot you fall, Earth curved a foot. Right. So you're just falling around the Earth. Around the Earth. Therefore, objects in orbit are weightless because they are in free fall around towards the Earth. Earth.